What's up, Tasha? Love y'all. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then stick around. See if you love me. If you do, then subscribe and turn on the notification bell. If you're not new here, then welcome back. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for loving me as much as I love you. And let's get right into today's video. I'm really struggling today. Don't know what's going on. Anyway. Yeah, we're going to be talking about how to manage stress as a business owner slash entrepreneur professional whatever um the reason why i decided to make this video is because two things happened this week um one somebody actually asked me to be their mentor i was like girl me why you want me like i don't know nothing for real i'll be a chicken with my head cut off but she said that she had been following me for a while and she really need, wanted some guidance to see like because i'm a i am a social media for those of you that do not know i own a social media management business um and she just wanted to like get some guidance from me blah 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 um, I, I set up a meeting with her for, for next week. But then on the flip side, I got a two questions in one day about how I'm managing all the stuff that I'm doing without being stressed out. Now, mind y'all, I was like, baby, who said I don't get stressed out? Baby, I'll be stressed, okay? But I want to make a video about stress management because if you allow stress to overtake you, it will affect your business. It will affect how your business is done. If you don't know anything about me, if you're new to the channel, then quick rundown. My business completely tanked last year. I became terribly in debt. I, I really struggled with just about everything and I'm still coming out of it. Mind you, we have relaunched, yay, and all that good stuff, but it, I'm still kind of climbing out of the hole that I got myself into. And a part of that was because I was overly stressed and I wasn't managing it well. And when you are overly stressed, not only can it make you sick physically, it messes with your mental health, it, it messes with your mental health. It also um, impacts your business in itself. You cannot run a business if you can't even run your own brain properly. Now, mind y'all, I'm saying this as a person who is literally a chicken with their head cut off. My team will tell you, okay, I just don't be having it together. So when I tell you that every piece of advice I'm giving you, I have taken myself and it is something that does help me. One, to maintain my productivity, to maintain my, keep my head on a swivel and all that good stuff. So yeah, let's get right into it. The first thing I'm gonna say is like, you need to identify the source. In every single thing I talk about, I always talk about identifying the source, whether that's time management, um, productivity, mental health. Identify the source. What is causing you the stress? Is it time management and your workload? Is it the financial stress? Is it risk? Are you concerned because of the risk? Sorry, if y'all see me looking down, my papers, my notes, and all that stuff. Is it you trying to find your balance? Identify what it is, the different things that it could be that's causing you to feel stressed out. I know for me, it was trying to balance it was the financial stress of it all because I had to, I was doing all of my own um, banking and payroll paying and trying to manage that, manage when clients paid late and, and when things were not flowing, like when the clients and the income was not coming the way that it should and it didn't line up with things properly. And I was just like, oh my God, I got to pay, Rob Peter to pay Paul and I do this and all that other stuff. And like trying to figure all that out, that stressed me out. And on top of that, trying to actually manage a team, that stressed me out. I didn't have a good work um personal balance i literally or either i completely ignored the business and was just working on myself and only working on myself or i was completely like divulged into my business and so yeah those are the things that stressed me out that and the pressure of being responsible for so much if you guys don't know my sisters work in my business and i was like i'm a part of their livelihood and me not if i don't work like you know what i'm saying like my mind was immediately like oh my god like if i don't get this together like my life their life everybody's life is ruined <laughs> like that's literally how i did, how it worked in my mind um, the next thing is to once you identify the source get some strategies for said source for example time management Setting up strategies such as um, prioritizing your task, understanding how to manage your time as a business owner slash entrepreneur. I'm gonna make a whole video about that. I'm set some set some time aside specifically for the purpose of of the different tasks that you have to do and set breaks, set time for nothing in between. Setting realistic goals and setting up time to help you accomplish those goals, organizing your process, that can make a huge difference when it comes to having issues with time management and that being the stressor. When it comes to financial stresses, one thing I can say is that you need to get realistic and disciplined when it comes to your budget. You need to create a budget both for your business, for your personal life, all that good stuff, and 
sorry y'all for your personal life for your budget all that good stuff and immediately like once you do make the plan because i know a lot of people will plan they'll budget they'll be like, okay i'm only gonna spend this on this much da, 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 da. things do happen you need to leave some wiggle room for in case an emergency happens in case something happens and you don't know you have to pull 50 dollars that you didn't expect to pull and you also need to stick to that budget do not be like oh yeah i'm only gonna spend a hundred dollars on my on this for myself and then spend five hundred dollars because you just you was like oh i want this and i want this if you become a grab me queen then yeah you're gonna find yourself in financial distress pay your bills first all that other stuff and then worry about the other things remember that it's important to invest when you have a business owner so yeah sometimes you're gonna be spending money on things like delegation on software management tools and things of that nature and that may be the case however you have to make sure that you're doing it in a way that makes financial sense look at your means look at your bills look at what you have to work with if you need to pick up another job see if that makes sense see what makes sense and actually be disciplined enough to stick to the budget that you set out for yourself now when it comes to risk all i'm gonna say is one thing you're gonna have to understand that running a business is risk that is just period that's just ow. that is just the way that it is if you have a business if you're running a business the investments that you make you could lose that money it could be something that you invested and in, you never end up getting used to use the tool because you don't get no clients you could end up not getting the type of return on your investment that you that you think that you're going to get it's not going to turn out the way that you thought it was going to turn out it is a risk in order to mitigate that risk you need to educate yourself educate yourself as best as possible you need to allow yourself some specific time to do research and do not research yourself to the death to the point where you don't start because then you'll never start you will never know everything but research enough to get you started and then continue to learn continue to research so that you are not so you can mitigate your risk make sure that you are taking educated risks you don't want to just be throwing yourself out there to the wolves in more than you already are going to be without educating yourself first make sure on top of having the risks have some backup plans and learn for the love of god if you're a business owner be adaptable because things are going to change directions even if we ain't planned it anyway things are going to change directions so you want to be prepared for that and if they do change directions directions if things happen that you did not expect you need to be able to stop take a breath and be like okay so we're going to pivot make sure that you can do that finally it's going to take some time to find balance that is going to take trial and error that is going to take you being self-aware and it's going to take you understanding what balance looks like to you for me i'm not going to hold you balance for me is some time with the people that I love, some time with myself, and a lot of time on my grind. That is for me. Now, mind you, I try my best not to work myself to death. I have now learned that there is a there is a balance that I did need to find. Before, it was just work, 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 work. And when the work was done, I could play. But now, I, I realized that that actually doesn't work for me. And I had to find more time and space for me to just do nothing. And this is coming from somebody who works who has a business, who is trying to do YouTube, trying my very hardest. And I also help out at home. I have, I live with, it's me, my sisters, and my niece. We all basically help take care of her on a regular basis. So I am busy. And then I still have to have time to just live, to exist, to date, to, to meet new people, to hang out with my friends, my loved ones, to see my mother, my father, to go to church, you know, all those things. So yes, I'm busy. As busy as they come. But... You have to find what that balance looks like. What makes sense to you? What is going to keep you both productive and mentally healthy? And you have to figure out what that is. Do you need to only work two hours a day on your business? One hour a day on your business in order to have that balance? Like, how do you need to do that? That may change the pace of your progress, but you will still continue to make progress. And that's, that's really the most important thing. You don't want to rush or force anything. Because if you try to rush your progress, then you're going to find yourself taking 50 steps backwards. So make sure that you find work on finding your balance and finding what works for you as far as balance goes. The next step is to just practice a healthy lifestyle. Now, mind you, I'm not the greatest at this today. I will admit that. It is something that is kind of for me as for others. But go to sleep. Sleep well. I have sleep apnea and I have insomnia. So that's part of why this is difficult for me. But it is something I'm actively working on. Eat better. Actively working on it. Not there yet but be active not gonna say i'm actively working on it but i'm working on it um and practice mindfulness so all of these things put together can really do so much for you when it comes to stress management making sure that you're taking care of yourself can help mitigate your stress and that's an important thing as a business owner i know that as business owners we're known for being on the go on the go on the go but sometimes you just need to sit the fuck down for lack of better words you just need to sit the fuck down and that's okay. 
That doesn't make you an unproductive business owner. In fact, it is productive to do nothing sometimes. So make sure that you're taking that time for yourself. The next tip is to really and get support. Stop trying to do it all by yourself. And when I say get support, I mean that in many ways. I mean delegate tasks. Make that investment to have somebody do some of the more miscellaneous things. Virtual assistants, best investment I ever made in my life. It changed and upgraded my life fundamentally. Now I outsource as many things as I possibly can. The more money I make, the more ways I find to outsource things so that I don't have to spend time and effort doing it. I would literally rather have less money in my bank account, but more time than more time and less money. That's literally, I, that's just me. That may not be you, but it's me. Because the, having more time helps mitigate the stress. You can spend that time doing things that you love and that you need to do for yourself. If you, having very little time does not work for me, I'm sorry. Another thing I think can help when it comes to getting support is finding your community. I am a part of some business groups. I have some business besties. There are other YouTubers that I support on this platform, um, other women that are influencers that I support, and there's also women who are in businesses that I support. There's other social media managers that I talk to regularly on my business page. I enjoy the community and it helps uplift me. It helps um, give me discipline, give me ideas. It keeps me focused. And there are people who understand the struggles that I go through as a business owner, as an influencer, as a whatever the fuck, because they're going through it too and having that community is really helpful it's also good to have support at home not everybody has that i do i am blessed and highly favored that i have the best group of friends on the planet they all support me genuinely wholeheartedly and without jealousy they all love that i do things for myself they all have their own things going on we all love each other we all support each other we all have each other's back and that is something that i think is monumental when it comes to my success and so finding people a group of people that are in your life your friends check your circle is your circle helping you or hindering you when it comes to your stress management are they helping you figure out what you're stressed about if you're stressed are they an ear are they somebody you can talk to about why you're stressed the next thing is to get therapy. I know that that sometimes for some people it still has a stigma on it. I don't know how after all this time and all the people pushing the importance of mental health, but it's still something that people are like, oh, I don't need that. Oh, I don't need that. Oh, I don't need that. Please prioritize it. If you are somebody who, who has a business, I'm telling you right now you need it. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you think. I don't care if you ain't got no trauma that you can name. If you are a business owner, if, especially if you are new to it and you're throwing yourself in this, you need to talk to somebody. Therapy helps because they give you tools that are specific to you, your situation, your stress, and they give you tools that can help you manage it and deal with it. And therapy saved my life. That is a genuine thing that I'm saying to you. It literally saved my life. I would not be here if it was not for, for therapy. And that kind of takes me to building a good work environment. You want to have a work environment within your business that allows for there to be boundaries with your clients, customers, and patients, that allows you to have distance when you need distance, that allows you to be adaptable, that allows you to be flexible, and to work in a way that is positive for you and how you operate. Knowing what kind of worker you are, what type of focus you have, helps with this tremendously. So yes, making sure that your work environment is conducive to that, that you have a team that you trust so that when you need to take some steps back, people can take over, that you have, and we're gonna talk about that. I'm gonna do a whole video about finding and managing um, a team and delegating and making that work for you as a business owner. If you guys want that video, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, if you guys want the time management video too, put that in the comment section down below. I'm going to record it, but if you guys don't want it, then I'm just not going to put it up. But yeah, <laughs> um, last tip I have is pay attention. Once you've done all of these tips and you've gotten to the bottom, pay attention and adapt and change things as you go. Because sometimes the things that cause you stress change. Sometimes the things that you need to do in order to deal with that stress changes. So make sure that you're doing check-ins. Check in with your mental health level, check in with your stress levels. If you're finding yourself, you're at a very high stress level, figure out why, what's going on? How do we, how do we mitigate this? How do we make this less stressful? How do we make this easier? How do we make this um, more palatable for us? What do we need to do? So make sure you're paying attention to yourself, your needs, your wants, your goals, and all of those things as you go. And as things shift, you shift along with it. Um, so yeah, I went to the end of the video. Um, if you made this a point of video, you love me, right? Then did you find this valuable? If you guys, any other business entrepreneurial content related that you guys want, please, 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 please let me know. 
and I will try my best to get it to you. Um, I love you guys ever so much. And yeah, follow me on my socials, Cherishing Flow on everything. Um, if you want Cherishing Flow, if you want the Cherishing Flow media page, we have a Cherishing Flow media Instagram. Um, we on LinkedIn, I don't know. But yeah, I love you guys ever so much. And I will see you in the next video.